kindly subscribe to Focus Academic Solution YouTube channel. Welcome back to Online Plus. Today we'll be talking about equilibrium. So the apparatus we are going to use for today's experiment is I'll be having my my metal rule, my retro stand with clamp. Likewise, I'll be having my tray, this is my string, and likewise, I'll be having 50 grams of mass. This is my fixed mass I'll be using for the experiment. This world, I'll be using a 20 gram of mass that has what up to, is up to 80. Yeah, okay, all right. Next thing I'm going to do is this I'm going to attach, I'm going to put my metal rule on this print to get the balance point. I mean, the center of gravity when the metal rule is balanced, all right. Okay, after putting the metal rule in the spring, so I'm going to get a balance point by adjusting the string to get to the word place of balance. You can see it's not balanced at this point. So you keep, I'll keep adjusting it till I get what I want. Till I get what I want. Okay, it's not, okay, not still balanced. So I keep adjusting among 50 centimeters. So I'm on 50 centimeter. All right, all right. I'm getting what I want from here. Okay. So this is center of gravity of this material. Next, I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add my 50 gram of mass to the material to have a fixed point. This is my 50 gram of mass. I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to put a 20 gram to get a place of balancing. All right. So I've got to my point of um, the center of gravity. So I'm replacing. A 50 gram of mass you can see on 20 centimeter of this ruler 20 center of this ruler 50 gram of, of mass you can see is on 20 centimeter of this ruler of this ruler likewise I will place another value of another gram this is 20 gram this is 20 gram pardon me this is 20 gram I'll place it as well on another side now you can see it's not yet balanced, so I must get a balance point for it. So I keep adjusting. So I get what I want. Okay, not yet. Okay, great. Now I want to have 50 centimeter gram on 20 centimeter of this metal rule. Now this is my fixed point. So I'll be suspending uh, suspending another angle on the other side of the metal rule to have a balance point of this metal rule. Now I put this on 40 gram on 90 and it's not balanced, you can see it's coming down. So I keep adjusting that get my point. The main point of this, I think the balance point is on 88. It's on 88, great. So you can see I'm at my balance point on 88 centimeter of this metal. Now, now there's two, I can get my value using two methods. I can get my value from this material that is from year to year I'm at my 50 gram of mass on 80 and the midpoint the center of gravity is on um, is 50 that like I said that's what 80 minus 50 that's what the distance of this is 30 centimeter likewise from year to year I'm having on um, 88 that the balance point for the what uh, let's say mass 2 88 minus 50 so that's the other distance to solve what the equilibrium. And the sum we say that what principle of moment say the sum of the sum of clockwise moment is equal to the sum of what are the clockwise moment. You can see the diagram that illustrates what I'm doing here in the experiment. So let's assume I'm having 50 gram of mass here, and don't forget here is 50 centimeter of the regular where I have my and don't forget from year to year should be 30 centimeter the distance. Of what the ruler, and I'm using 40 gram of mass. That is some of what clockwise moment because some of anti clockwise. So I'll be having what my clockwise moment, my gram of mass is 50. Sorry, it's 40 gram times this time is x in centimeter equal to the mass here is 50 times 30 times 30 30 centimeter. So I'll be have what 40 x equal to 1,500 so S should give me what 1,500 all over 40 and this should give me 37.5 in centimeter so if I'm out with 37.5 the exact point here should be the addition value of this center of gravity plus the value of the distance there so I can call this place 
let, let me call it Z. Z. That is Z should give the distance from this point of gravity. Yeah. Is gone to this place. I call it Z. All right. To get the total value of this, that I'll be adding 50 point the point in distance of what on the uh, x gone to the uh, the ninth a. That is Z. Z should be equal to 50 is my center of gravity. 50 plus my uh, x is on uh, that's 37.5. So I should be having what 87.5 centimeter. So that is the point for this side. That is 7.5 centimeter. That is the same thing I'm having on my meter rule. On my meter rule, I'm having it exactly on what 80, let's say 88 to 87. It's still up to it. So you can do this for another value of mass. And don't forget, you are keeping this as constant. This is, is constant. If I'm adding another value of mass, this is another 20 gram of mass. If I'm adding to this, so this one will become what 60 gram of mass. You can see the weight has, uh, has dropped down. I'll keep adjusting till I get my balance point for for um if I'm using 50 gram of mass on this side, so the balance point you keep adjusting to get the right place to balance it. So I'm on 45 75 centimeter for for this side now. Let's share me be now the balance point of gram 60. Okay, it's not that balanced. Let me adjust it a little bit. Alright. Alright, I can see it. Okay, let me adjust a bit. Okay, this is how you can get your value for equilibrium. See now, same thing you keep solving it using this formula. It's very it's quite simple. So you can do it from different value 60, 80, 100, and so like that. Why 50 is at constant. Please thanks for watching. Can I, uh, click on the subscribe button for more videos? Thank you.